So the first thing you want to do is go to the View Grades area in Blackboard, and it'll pull up a page showing all your grades. You'll notice that some of the grades for the graded assignments are blue. They show up blue. That means that you can click them and get more information. In this case, you are going to click the blue 50. Uh, as long as you uh, did the draft, you should have 50 points. Anyway, you'll click the blue 50 for Submit Essay 1 Draft here, and that will take you to the next page. So on the next page, you'll see assignment information, assignment materials, feedback from instructor. Assignment information is just showing you what you originally saw when you submitted the paper, the title, and the instructions. Assignment materials will tell you the title of the paper. That's whatever you titled it uh, when, you, when you uploaded it. And then you'll see a My, My Paper with a little globe icon. That little globe paper, that's what you're going to click to open up your paper and see the comments. Before we do that, though, I want to make a quick comment about feedback from instructor. You'll see the grade, how many points out of the total points possible. You'll see originality report. Uh, you can click that, and it's basically going to take you to the same place as the My Paper uh, link above will. And you'll see comments. If anything is written here at all, uh, it is just telling you to open My Paper so you can see my actual comments. And then below that, you'll see that there is a file attached. The attached file uh, is for when it's a final draft. In this case, it's just a regular draft, so there, there's not going to be a file there. I've simply attached one here so that you can see what it will look like when there is one. Uh, when it is your final copy of your essay, that will be the rubric that shows you how you scored on each thing, like thesis statement, introduction, etc. So that's what you're going to want to click. But right now you're going to click the My Paper and the little picture of the paper with the globe. This will open up a new tab or a new window, depending on what you have your settings for. And you're going to see a copy of your paper, and it's going to look like there's no comments, there's nothing. Uh, and you'll see where I have my pointer, that little green dot is my pointer. It says no service currently available. It's simply because you haven't selected to look at anything yet. So I'm going to show you how to pull that up. You're going to want to go up to the upper left hand corner where it says originality, grade mark, peer mark, and you're going to want to click grade mark. And that will show you the comments. So the little blue bubbles that are floating around, those are comments. The little purple things with words in them, that is uh, Turnitin has automatically commented what it thinks is grammar or spelling or punctuation errors. I will probably have gone through and deleted any that don't make sense, um, but that's the difference. And then you'll see over in the far right hand corner it says general comments, text comments, and I've just written this is where you'll see my general recommendations for revision. I'll explain a lot here. So what I explain there is kind of my overall reaction to your essay and the main things I think you need to focus on. What I explained in these little blue bubbles and these little purple bubbles, uh, what the program explains to you, is something specific to that uh, piece. So for instance, if you click that top bubble, you can click it and you can see what I said about the title. This title is a mouthful. And you'll also see that it highlights specifically what it is I'm talking about. I've highlighted the title and you see that there's a little line uh, from the box to the title showing you that that comment belongs to that title. Whereas the other blue bubble, which is floating down there below it, doesn't have a line. It's not connected to anything right now. You can still click it though and open it. Uh, it's just not it, it, this just means that it's probably a comment about the paragraph or something in that general area. Uh, it, it's not going to highlight anything, but it's still a comment you can read. You can also click and open the purple ones. All they're ever going to say is to review the rules for uh, punctuation marks, though. So um, you have your rules for writer book, and, and that can be handy for that. But you have to look it up yourself. It, it's not going to tell you what pages or anything like that. If it is an error that you're making a lot, though, I will uh, I will probably explain the rule or give you some kind of comment uh, in another color or over in the general comments area. Another thing you can do is you can move the bubbles around if they're not in a good place. You just click them, drag them, and move them. And so if it's blocking something you're trying to read about, you just move it out of your way. Uh, you can also scroll 
uh, down the pages using the scroll bar there at the first yellow box. Uh, and if you want to view a list of all the uh, pages that have comments from me on them, you can click that little box down there in the lower right hand corner and it'll change the general comments area to a list of pages that have those little bubble comments on them. You can see that that is then now highlighted, the little box thing at the bottom. Anyway, you'll have to open these up yourselves. It'll just tell you page one, five comments, but then if you click on that page one, it'll open up so you can see the actual comments. You can read the actual comments. Uh, sometimes there'll be that little blue ellipses, which is what my green pointer is on right now. If you hover above it, it'll say read more. You just click that and it will open up so you can read the entire comment for that bubble. You can also hit the read less and it'll go away and go back down uh, to the normal view. Now I didn't actually click read less so it's still there on this uh, image. Um, what you can do though because uh, you won't it won't be showing you the page while you read. I, there's the show on page which is right here on the right where my green dot is. You click that and it brings you back to the page uh, that that comments on. So that comment is on page one about the title. So even if I'm on page, you know, 20, whatever it is, if I click show on page, it'll bring me back to page one and show me that comment on that page. And you'll see that when I have that comment uh, selected in that right bar, uh, the bubble is a darker blue than the other bubbles on the page. And that's pretty much all you really need to know about uh, how to look at the comments, how to read the comments, all that fun stuff. If you're interested about your originality score, you click originality up there in the left hand corner. Um, this will show all plagiarism flags. This one didn't have any, so it's a 0% uh, match. And if you want to go back to grade mark, you just click grade mark. Uh, if you're having trouble reading it, it's too small. There's a zoom bar down here at the bottom. You just uh, slide that to the right or left, and you can make the essay bigger or smaller. And that's pretty much all you need to know. So uh, you would just close this window or tab, and it would bring you back um, to, to Blackboard. Blackboard would still be open in the other window. Uh, another way that you can view your grades uh, or view your comments on the essay, instead of going to view grades, you can actually go back to the original area where you submitted the essay, submit essay. Uh, and click view complete again and that's going to take you to the turn it in page where you originally submit it you'll see that the submit button is uh, no longer available but there's a view button now and if you click the view button again it'll open another window or tab and take you right back uh, to the start that grade mark page and click grade mark see all your comments and that's everything you need to know to see the comments on your drafts or your final copies from me.